police request that. Is that guy urinating over there? Is that what he's doing? <gasps> he's even wet. <laughs> I recognize that that little waggle. Look at him. He definitely doesn't stop urinating. Yo, all right, everybody. We are here today taking a look at a little recently released banger by the name of City Eye. Now, this apparently plays as uh, you being, well, big brother in a way. It's kind of a little bit reminiscent of uh, the 911 operator games, 112 operator, etc., etc., where you're basically managing or at least monitoring crime. Now, in those games, you're supposed to, you know, obviously attend to the call, send the proper response units out there. Here, we're going to be kind of doing the same, but we actually get to visually see what's happening in the streets. So, let's get to it. Welcome to City Eye. Become a surveillance officer and help to restore the law and order in Strife City. Yeah, I mean, when you're called Strife City, I guess you probably do need a little bit of help. Expand the cam system. So we're going to have the basic cam, which apparently, um, you can mark dangerous and suspects with its range. Rangey, as a matter of fact. We have the semi-automated cam. The enhanced camera capable of recognizing the threat and indicating it on the main monitor. And when we add the automated completely high-end camera. Buy new equipment or update. Right now we got 400. Crime rate is at 90%. That's really high. <laughs> Whoever the mayor of the town is should have been fired a long time ago and dismissed or something. Like, how do you get to 90%? Okay, what is this, Los Angeles or what? Uh, basic camera. That's all we can't afford here, really. So we'll put one there. We'll put one in the East Side Avenue for effect. And give me one right there. I guess we're going to spend all of our money if we want to cover at least the main intersections here. Okay, perfect. Okay, oh boy. Did you uh, lower the bloom here a little bit? <laughs> I mean, for a place that's apparently riddled with crime, it's actually pretty sunny. It's actually quite nice and sunny. What are you doing over there, ma'am? Huh? We have, a, we have a crazy woman here. Apparently speaking into an imaginary phone. Having an argument with that trash can or something, who knows? Got, oh, okay, we got a possibility of crime around here. What's happening? What's happening and where is it happening? Oh! Yo, look at these guys over here throwing down. Alright, so we gotta zoom in. I guess we could probably call for alert, but I'm kind of curious who's gonna win. Come on, dog, swing already. <laughs> oh, this is too good. Look at these guys. Maybe these guys are the guys who are drunk, and I already accused that guy over there. Okay, who, who's uh, who's got the history here? Check file on this guy. Julian Moyer. Convicted for battery in Antioch, California on October 12, 2015. Sentenced to four years in state prison. Status released from prison. On November 3, 2014, the offender injured a person with a makeshift weapon during the bar file. You got a little bit of history, do you? This guy doesn't have a record. All right. Police, get over here. I'm sorry, buddy, but I got to go after the guy with the record, all right? Oh, somebody's dead over here, too. What happened? Medical record. Great work. Okay, look, get away, dog. I, there's a person that's dead. I'm, 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 I'm trying to get. <laughs> Who did this to you? Trisha Hicks, uh, 44, Pasadena, California. Why is everyone from California? Said is diagnosed with life-threatening condition. Okay. Oh, so another one happening. Okay. Oh, okay. Caution: A person experiences recurring epileptic seizures. Okay. Uh. Hey. Um. Ambulance, please. Okay. Um. What's happening this time? Apparently another police alert around here. Who is it? But she says a woman that's passed out over there. Could you have a little respect? Oh, it's this guy. Doing your little graffiti, are you? Who is this? Michael Sandoval from Gainesville, Florida. Alright, Sandoval. Police? Get him over here. What about that woman that's dead over there? What's this guy doing? You're setting fire randomly to garbage cans? You a maniac? Fire truck and arrest this man too while you're at it. Police on its way, good. And, uh, an another seizure? What's happening to my town? That guy's running. That guy's up to something. You see him? Luigi Preston. Hey, um, ambulance over here. Uh, I'll be back. I want to see what's going to go down over here, but uh, I got to keep traps and everything else. Okay, um, police needed here. Why? What's happening? Oh, where are you running to, dog? Is, is this guy holding... Person at gunpoint or what? He is. Is this a crime? What's the problem? They're just having a strongly worded conversation. At the Belto Marks, drug trafficking. Hmm. 
Work for heroes involved in drug trafficking operation. Fine. I mean, it doesn't seem like we need police intervention for it. Oh, now he does! Look, he's running in place! Look, this guy over here is setting a car on fire! <laughs> Stop the fire and arrest this madman! Is that your vehicle at least? I mean, it'd be a dick move if it was somebody else's vehicle over here sitting on fire. You're just some sort of rambunctious dude causing mayhem. Okay, there's a, apparently a police request around here as well. Who's got it? Who needs it? Police request that. Is that guy urinating over there? Is that what he's doing? <gasps> he's even way. <laughs> I recognize that that little waggle. Disorderly content in rent. <laughs> content in rent in Washington. Yo, stop this guy over here urinating in public. Look at him. He never. He doesn't stop urinating. Total number of shifts one. Okay. Basic funding 600, perfect responses, good, good responses 11, two normal responses, and I miss one emergency. Okay, so otherwise fairly good, I would say. 1730 total. To unlock the next district, your crime rate must be less than 20%. Find new equipment or update, a uh, new event, street terror at East Estate. Members of the local crime syndicate started expanding the territory. They specialize in extortions and armed robberies. Help us eliminate the threat. Find three robbers. Okay. Doug, um... I'll keep an eye out on... <laughs> this entire debacle that's happening here. Well, uh, do semi-automatic here. Alright, we got like a bigger radius too. And uh, do one for here. And we'll have to do one more. I'm not sure why this is green already. But, um... So we have at least three semi-automatics and uh, two manual ones. Okay, that's uh, a little bit better, I would say. Let's uh, start our shift. Oh, wait, what's this? Oh, okay, so Stripe City in general is icy. I mean, by adding those cameras, we reduce it a little bit more. So we need to get this where we're at right now to unlock the next estate to 20%. We're already at 49, as a matter of fact, so we've done really well. Maybe one more shift will actually get us to unlock Millwell Plant or High Court or Old Wharf. I see. Okay. Like, I figured, like, at 78, I was just like, man, it's gonna take us forever. So we're, we're actually on the precipice. There's a person over there just sleeping, but that's, that's fine. You know, they can, they can hang out there and have a good time and sleep. I mean, they're not bothering anybody. So what am I looking at here? Oh, another gunpoint guy. I gotta get the camera on the other side of this place, because I always, I can't ever see this properly, you know? We always see, like, a guy on his knees, and then somebody apparently holding, like, you know, they're holding, like, pistols from, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! You know, like, in Yu-Gi-Oh! When they, they showed Yu-Gi-Oh! in the American version, they couldn't show guns. So Pegasus henchman would just point at the people, at Yugi's crew. <laughs> That's what's happening here. He's pointing his finger at him in a very menacing way. Stop this guy, please. Okay, let's jump over here. Oh, we got a little bit of everything happening. Okay. Uh, fire and police and... Are you the guy? Yeah, the guy's over there graffitiing or something. Oh, there it is. Fire. Stop this guy. And this woman needs attention. Okay. okay. Good, 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 good. Well done. You got it right. Good, good. All right. Get, get, get out of the way, dog. What are you doing? Don't, don't send me here. I'm, I'm busy. I'm busy stopping crimes and talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! Pointing fingers at the kids. Say that <laughs> good. Oh, red. Is it this mama right here? Is she about to turn some tricks? Are you turning tricks, ma'am? Lena Turner, 42, from Buffalo, New York. Convicted for vandalism. <gasps> She's not turning tricks. She's over here doing graffiti. It's even worse. At least I could respect you turning tricks and trying to make a living. But you're over here just... Now you're crotch shopping at the graffiti that you just did? This woman... Arrest her, police! Stop her. Look, look, there's... Somebody passed out probably dead here. Oh, there it is. Look at these people here just having dinner or whatever. That's a little coffee. Guy passed out next and they don't care. Should we call Camus? Nah, it's fine, it's fine. He's probably just drunk. Leave him alone. It's like, even if he's drunk, I mean, like, call some help for him. Poor guy. Ambulance. Ambulance. Oh! Oh! And a fire! Why wasn't the fire report? Did we... mark the fire? Yes. What about this, this scumbag who probably started the fire? Can we get him? Oh, I highlighted him momentarily. 
Look, I know it was you, do dogger. I just conveniently sending us to the fire. Oh, it wasn't me. Okay, shift has been completed. What are we gonna do here this time? Oh, we missed three this time. Well, you know, I... We might have missed three, but we got a lot more perfect responses as well. Eight good responses, one normal response. We got 2,000 as well. Um, I think hopefully it should be enough to get us into the next district, right? Drug problem at East Estate. Our informants report on a new drug being sold in the city. It's highly addictive and easy to overdose. Watch the streets for the dealers. So find three dealers and report a drug sale. Now hold up. Oh, 30%? Oh, we were so close to unlock another one. We're at 75% right now. So, let's see here. Uh, show me the cameras. How much are the, the big boy cameras? Five thousand. Oh, okay, that's, that's not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> I guess at the very least, though, we could probably upgrade these bad boys up to 500. Hey, John. What are you working on over there? Oh, just a vehicle fire. What about you? Oh, you know, just garbage. It's a fine day to start some fires here in the city, isn't it? Look at this situation. Two of them. Two of these guys. Absolutely no shame. They hang out right there afterwards, too. Well, luckily, they're right next to each other, so at least one police uh, car and one fire truck car can take care of both of them. But, I mean, can you believe these two dudes? Just next to each other in broad daylight setting fires. What's happening out here? Police? Oh, it's that. It's the, the, the persistent urinator again. I mean, honestly... I shouldn't even call the police on that guy. You know, he's he's like the less the least offensive of the crimes we've seen thus far. <laughs> Just go ahead and pee away, dog. It's fine. Yo, for the very first time, we actually get to see the gunpoint. Oh no, no! I, for once, we actually saw it, and it instantly cuts me off. Well, at least we have discovered that um there actually is a gun involved. It's not just pointing the fingers at him. So it's one step above Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, we've unlocked the old wharf. Excellent. Alright, let's go check out the old wharf here. And then... Oh, wait, do I still gotta... Yo, I still gotta take control of this one and then also the old wharf? I thought you'd move from district to district or something. That's insane. Well, um... We still can't afford those big boys, so get this one. I mean, we're technically at a time with this, so I'm gonna start wrapping it up anyway. But let's see what the old wharf looks like. Maybe it looks different. Because otherwise, if everything just kind of looks the same, you know... It's a little comical, but kind of wears thin after a while. The enjoyment factor, I would say. So, yeah, that's that's fine. I guess we'll probably add one basic camera there and one more there. Okay, let's start the shift. And let's move down over here to the wharves. Well, I mean, there's a park. That's uh, different, I suppose. Sure. But will it will be the same type of crimes, the same type of NPCs. You're towards the water area. The river. See, this looks exactly like the other block that we've seen in the first section. What about Camp 3? Oh, I got a coffee company. It looks like, is that Coffee Bean? I think that's Coffee Bean. Well, at least they went Coffee Bean and not Starbucks, you know? I feel like Starbucks would be like the, the most cliche one imaginable, so at least they went Coffee Bean. Is that guy just rubbing himself erotically here in the street? Or... Oh, it's late. No, she wasn't. She was apparently just having a smoke and now she put the smoke out. I thought you were here just rubbing yourself erotic. Oh, there she's doing it again. It's an imaginary cigarette. I'm gonna call the cops on you because you're obviously insane. <laughs> you're not really smoking. Somebody get us some attention over here. This person's crazy. Don't leave them alone. Somebody's passed out apparently. What's happening here? What's happening here? Do I even care at this point? Not really. <laughs> I could I could call help, or I could just run by. And then this guy's over here like, look at this guy, passed out. Can you believe it? All right, well, unfortunately, we're going to wrap it up here for this one. I think we have seen everything we're going to see here from City Eye. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a cute little concept, but unfortunately, there's just not enough different events happening to give you more variety, you know? And then everything starts going to looking the same, uh, you know. It is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video at the very least. I will catch you next time.